So I said before that StarCraft is a game of incomplete information. I contrast that with chess, which is a game of complete information. The way that we define a complete information game is a game where the full knowledge of the game state is available to both me and to you if we're playing a game against one another. We're able to see the entire board and where all of the pieces are on the board. So what's an example of another incomplete information game that is a mental game that you may have heard of? Well, good question. Poker is actually the best example that we have for a basic incomplete information game. So when pro poker players talk about the game, they talk about making bets as an investment where over enough hours of play with the same table, I actually am able to infer certain things about the way everyone around the table is playing the game and the types of behaviors that they're exhibiting and try to leverage that to my advantage. So this is really kind of cool, right? StarCraft is this interesting mix where we get this very chess-like game, but it's an incomplete information game. So uh, the way that you can think about this is Imagine if on the chessboard there were obscured areas, maybe there's a forest, right? And I don't actually get to know if you've moved some of your army into that forest unless I send something in there to look. So we're able to engage in these interesting deceptions and have to evaluate the risk of sending out small scouting forces that may end up getting killed off. And this really kind of plays well into the strategic elements of the game. This, of course, again, is something that was completely impossible before we had computers to play these mental games on because there's no real good way for me to obscure things about the, the position of pieces. The only thing that we really have are card games. So really, this is another way that video games have opened up kind of a new avenue of game design. 